Have you ever pondered how cyber criminals persuade you into revealing your confidential information? Let's delve into the intrigue of information theft. Picture this as a game of shadows where cyber criminals lurk, weaving their web of deceit to ensnare unsuspecting victims. Information theft is no child's play. It's a common yet dangerous act, a silent war waged in the digital realm. These modern day pirates are not after your physical treasures, but the gold mine of your personal and financial data. A single misstep can lead you into their trap. So how do they achieve this? Cyber criminals employ an array of tactics, from the subtle to the outright brazen. They may disguise themselves as trustworthy entities or create a sense of urgency to cloud your judgment. Their primary aim? To trick you into voluntarily handing over your precious information. Intriguing, isn't it? How a simple trick can lead to such devastating consequences. Today, immerse yourself in the dark world of cybercrime as we unravel the art of phishing. Phishing is a deceptive practice used by cybercriminals to bamboozle unsuspecting individuals into revealing sensitive information such as passwords or credit card numbers. The term phishing is a play on the word phishing because much like fishermen casting their nets or lines in the hope of a catch, cybercriminals cast out deceptive emails or messages hoping to hook unsuspecting individuals. The origins of phishing trace back to the early days of the internet. As technology evolved, so did the cunning of these cyber criminals. Today, phishing is one of the most common methods used by cyber criminals to steal information, often leading to identity theft and financial loss. Now let's delve into the different types of phishing. First up, we have email phishing. This is the most common type, where cyber criminals send out mass emails disguised as legitimate messages from reputable companies. These emails often contain a call to action, like updating your account details or verifying your password, all designed to trick you into revealing your information. Next, we have spear phishing. This is a more targeted approach, where the cyber criminals focus on a specific individual or organization. In spear phishing, the attackers do their homework, researching their targets thoroughly to make their deceptive emails as believable as possible. Finally, we have whaling. This is the big game of phishing, targeting top-level executives or high-profile individuals. The cyber criminals behind whaling attacks go to great lengths to craft highly personalized and convincing emails, often posing as other executives or trusted partners. In essence, phishing is a game of deception, where the bait is a seemingly innocent email or message, and the prize is your personal information. It's a dark art, practiced by faceless criminals hidden behind the veil of the internet. Now that you know what phishing is, you might be wondering, how exactly does it work? Prepare to dive deep into the step-by-step -step process of a typical phishing attack. Let's start at the beginning, the initial setup. This is where the attacker prepares their trap. They'll often start by creating a fake website or email that looks remarkably like a legitimate one. It could be a replica of your bank's website, your email provider, or even a social media platform. The goal is deception, making you believe you're interacting with a trusted entity. Next, we move on to the baiting stage. This is where the attacker sends out the phishing email or message. The email is designed to spark curiosity, urgency or even fear. It might say your account has been compromised, you've won a prize or there's a problem with your payment information. The goal is to make you click on the link within the email. But the link doesn't lead where you think it does. Instead, it takes you to the fake website the attacker created during the setup stage. The website will likely ask you to log in, update your payment details or input personal information. And because the site looks and feels real, you might not think twice about doing so. This brings us to the hook, the final stage of the phishing process. The unsuspecting victim clicks the link and provides their information. And the moment you hit submit or login, your information is sent straight to the attacker. They now have your username, password and potentially other sensitive details. In some cases, the attacker might even use the information you've given to send phishing emails to your contacts, perpetuating the cycle of deception and data theft. It's a sophisticated, well-oiled machine designed to exploit trust and manipulate human behavior. And just like that, the cybercriminal has what they need. Your information is now in the wrong hands. 
The fishing process is a dangerous dance where the attacker leads and the unwitting victim follows. But understanding the steps of this dance is the first step towards protecting yourself against it. Understanding the fishing process is your first line of defense, but what else can you do to protect yourself? In our digital journey today, we've traversed the murky waters of cybercrime, delving into the art of fishing. It's a technique as old as the internet itself, yet it continues to ensnare unsuspecting individuals. The key takeaways, fishing is all about deception, tricking you into revealing your sensitive information. Cyber criminals use a blend of social engineering and technical trickery to accomplish this. So how can you fortify your digital fortress against these cyber invaders? The answer lies in vigilance and a keen understanding of the online landscape. Firstly, remember that caution is your best ally. Be skeptical of emails, messages or websites that seem off. This could be anything from an unexpected email from your bank asking for personal details to a suspicious link sent by a friend. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Secondly, keep your software, including your antivirus, up to date. Software updates often include patches for security vulnerabilities that phishing attempts may exploit. It's like fortifying your castle walls against a siege. Thirdly, never click on suspicious links or download attachments from unknown sources. These could be disguised as familiar websites or services to trick you into revealing your information or installing malware. Lastly, always double check the source of any message asking for personal information. Legitimate organizations will never ask for sensitive data via email or text message. When in doubt, reach out to the organization directly through a verified contact method. These tips may seem basic, but they're your first line of defense in the digital realm. It's a wild world out there, populated by cyber criminals waiting for a single slip up. But armed with knowledge and vigilance, you can navigate it safely. Remember, awareness is your best weapon against cybercrime. Stay vigilant, stay safe. If you found this video informative and helpful, do share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more such content. Till next time.